Happy New Year and happy 100th video. <laughs> I was in the YouTube settings and could not believe that I was almost at 100. So for like five videos ago, I kept trying to plan something big for my 100th video. Like I was thinking about this roller coaster story that was gonna be like really funny. But at the end of the day, I really just wanted it to be personal. So here we are. First, let me give a very special shout out to Hot Damn I Rock. Kane Carter, or some men know as Maurice. I used to always watch him before I even thought about making a YouTube channel. Once I decided that I wanted to, I reached out to him on Facebook asking him for advice. What it takes to make it on YouTube and how should I go about making videos? He gave me advice and told me to make quality videos and the rest would just come. I took his advice and now we're 100 videos in, baby, let's go! If I never took his advice and pursued this career, I would never have got to know any of you and I would have never have known what it's like to go viral with 18 million views. On a side note, please pray for my bro, he's going through a lot. If you don't know what I mean, I'll leave this link in the description box below and check out his channel. What's even more special about this is that I ran into him four days ago and the conversation me and him had I will cherish and learn from. Two and a half to like maybe three years ago, King Carter had put out a video that addressed the issue of life is too short to do things that you don't want to do and how people miss their blessings. And that video really resonated with me because in that time I was in dental school for maybe two years and I was genuinely not happy. Like it was around that time where I had realized that I was stuck pursuing something I didn't even want to do. So about a half a year later, my mom had actually asked me what do you want to do? Or what do you like to do? I told her that I enjoyed videos because at that time I was already practicing like YouTube stuff. My mom just looked at me and said, then do that. <laughs> my mom had made something so complicated, so very simple. Find something you like, learn how to make money from it. My mom and King Carter's words, I was like, shit, I'll do YouTube. And if the money comes, it comes. But I never knew how much happiness I would get from other people's happiness. Like when you guys tell me that it was funny or you laughed or it made your day, that shit uplifts me. It makes me want to do so much more. I had actually tried to go to film school, but the more I looked, the more I realized I couldn't afford it. So my mom bought a MacBook for me, and I literally taught myself how to edit everything that I've been editing so far. Does anybody remember me being stuck at 2,000 subscribers for like two years? That was a low point for me because I felt like I wasn't good enough to grow. And everyone to this day keeps commenting, why haven't you blown up, why aren't you bigger, things like that. When in reality, I just need help. <laughs> Only flaws that no one knows about me. One day that'll change. I'm so positive about it now because you guys literally make me feel like king shit. Like, you guys make me feel like I'm the funniest person you guys know. And that 2017 is my year. I've seen your comment. And I thank you, my randoms, my day ones, all of you. I thank you. And I love you. Now, I know I say it a lot, but that's not something I just say. Growing up, I was raised on a lot of love understanding what it means to be loved and the importance of people knowing love, as well as spreading. Not everyone gets I love you at home, or even I love you from anyone else. That's why I like to remind you guys that I know who you are. You are my randoms, and I love you guys. Because you are supporting my dream just by watching a video, by liking it, by sharing it and showing other people, even just posting it on your Facebook or Twitter helps me dramatically. So when I tell you I love you, I mean it. You don't believe me? Ask a random I met in person. I will give you the most sincerest, loving hug you've ever got. You would think that I'm your mother. Just keep working for me like I do for you. We are almost there and I can't thank you guys enough. We a team. I post for you, you share for me. Truth is I wanted Kane's help so bad, like in the past, but I knew I wasn't ready. I couldn't keep up with this content. Now, I think I'm ready, but on his time. In the comment box below, please tell me what you want to see from me in 2017 and uh, I'm going to get to work. So I love you guys and I will see you very soon. Sooner than you think. <laughs> Thank you.